Oh, God, I hate this already. I almost don't want to play. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck me. Oh, God. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Go on, let me close this door. Hello everybody and welcome to part 8 of Amnesia the Dark Descent. And in part 8, we are going to pull this lever, which will send this elevator plummeting down into what I believe is the inner sanctum. I don't know exactly what's down there, but I can only imagine it's going to be pretty fucking horrible. So, oh well, bite the fucking bullet and let's go down. Okay, those slam shut very quickly. Oh, here we are. What was that then? Yeah, it's still going. Going deeper and deeper into the bowels of Brennenberg Castle. And it's getting darker and shittier and oh crap, what's happening now? The red stuff is following us down. Lovely. Oh fuck, have we crashed? What's going on? Oh shit. Oh fuck, we're going really deep. Oh crap. And I guess we're down in the in a sanctum. I hate it here already. Oh god. Right, we're really deep down now. I don't imagine there's any way back up. Okay. Oh, flashback time already. Come this way. I will in a sec. What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. Oh god. This is where criminals are locked up. Really? Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Oh crap. Criminals. Oh man, there's gonna be something really horrible down here. Is it gonna be that thing with the fucked up jaw again or what? Oh god. God. Oh fuck, okay. Uh let's clear ourselves a path. Maybe I want to make this where I can run out again. I don't know if I'm gonna be coming back this way. Something tells me probably not. I need you to move. Come on. Ah, oh, you jammed? What the fuck? That's it. Come on. That's it. This way. It's fucking great lumps of wood in the way. Are they to keep me out or to keep whatever's in here in? Okay, let's do this. It's a pull. Of course it's a pull. Let's get the lantern out because Daniel's starting to panic and quite honestly, I don't blame him. This is horrible already. I hear footsteps all around me. How are we for oil? All right for oil and five matches. All right. Oh man. Oh shit. I'm gonna light you. Can I? I can't light these. That's reassuring. I don't know where to go. Let's just start our usual stumbling about in the darkness until something horrible turns up. That's some nice reassuring blood there. Are there still things like locked in down here? Hey, can I have that? Got a hammer. And that made a scream. Oh, I hate this game almost a lot more now. Please say all these cells are empty. Is that that's just bread? Some more oil.
Is something down here with me? Something's down here with me, isn't it? Let's light up some of these a bit. Oh, screams. What? What now? What? Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I'm gonna hide. What's, what's going on? I feel like something's here. And I'm going slightly insane, but I don't want to get my fucking lantern out. Uh, there's something I can light in here. Oh man, this is fucking horrible already. I'm going to get nowhere in this episode. Did something come out? Can I not open this one? Okay, uh, not that way then. Oh god, I hate this already. I almost don't want to play. Oh shit, oh fuck me. Oh god. Oh shit, 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 shit. Come on, let me close this door. Can, can he break that? He can't break that, can he? He can break that. Oh shit, run Daniel. Where the fuck am I going? Shit. Try and concentrate. I know it's... Oh yeah, let's just run into this place with no other door. Not that way. Did I lose him? There's something I just saw. Give me those. Matches. Okay. Does he not like light? No, because he attacked me in the other fucking place where there's plenty of light. Oh shit, this episode's just gonna be me running around like a coward, isn't it? Uh, um, that's dark. He was up, right? I think he chased me down, so I'm going to go back up and go this way. It's not quite as hideous up here. There's only more downs. Cockroaches and a load of matches. What? What now? I have these, please. And what's that? Lording them? Lording them. Um, a few cuts and bruises. I got two lording them. I don't want those just yet. I'm going to top this up though. And that's all of that. Great. Oh, I can't see shit up here. Uh, fuck. Which way do I go? Is that thing one of the criminals that's been locked down here? But then how did it? What? Oh, what? What? Oh, cry for you out there again. He's right there, isn't he? Daniel, relax, damn it. No time to panic. Yeah, that's it. Put the light on so we can see I'm in here. Daniel, relax. Relax a little bit. Sounds like he's right out there. I can't see him. I can hear him though. I think I'm just gonna have to run. Is it just. It's locked, corroded, and weak? Well, I wanna go in there. 
Um, I have a hammer now, don't I? Let me use the hammer. Something else is needed. Shit. Uh, uh, try this one. Oh, this one's got a flashback. Where is she? Where did she go? No. Oh, tell. I'll never tell you. You're just making things worse. Look, this is no place for a young girl all by herself. No she place for me. Or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. I don't want to be down here either. There's something back there I want though. What's this? Chipper. Well, I'm guessing I can use that to get in that door. Then. Yeah, this is probably going to be my most cowardly episode. So, shipper, do I combine? I do combine. Why am I struggling so much to open and close bloody doors? Love like that. Lanterns are already full. Okay, so I got a good bit of oil for the moment. What's that? Anything? There's just more of that. Skull and crossbones, lovely. What, is that it? There's nothing else in here? Just oil? No secrets? No puzzle solving? Shit. Uh, what do we like? Full oil. Let's have a little... A few more drops. Should probably start leaving those open. So I know where I've been, maybe? That oil? Oh, give me all the oil. I want light. Okay, where else? What's this? Are those my footsteps? It's footsteps? Been in it. I think that's all the upper part here, then? Have a quick run down here. Did that door. Didn't do this door. Uh, uh, close behind me for the moment, please. Oh, flash back in here too. But mother, I don't want to leave without you. Hurry, child. You must go. Find Gabriel, the outrider, and tell him to alert the king's men. No, you come too. Please, hey. we don't have time to make the hole any wider. What's this? Coming. Uh, Hurry! On. I'll cover the hole with the bed. Everything will be fine. I promise. Something tells me it wasn't fine. Can I go down here? Prison Northern Block. The hole is too narrow to slip through. What's the message we've just received? There is a hole in the ground in one of the cells, but it's too small to fit a man. I'm quite slim. Honestly, I am. Shit, have I still got a hammer? Oh, I've still got this. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Am I making progress? Please tell me that's progress. Okay, we've gone down a hole. Am I looking at the floor? Where am I? I've got to crawl. Is this the way? eerie tunnel going deeper even fucking deeper lovely is this split off okay I got a left and I got a right I have no idea let's just see you're blocked okay well that was pointless this way then which takes me a little bit up 
this looks like I can get through. Let me just uh, have a little look-see. Don't really want to just stumble out in front of that thing again. And move these. That's it, block my path out. That's probably a good idea. I'm in trouble moving this big one. That must be it now. Alright, push then, yeah? Okay, push. More carpet left down here for some reason. I can stand. I got a left and a right again. And a left and a right again. Oh, this place is a fucking labyrinth of horribleness. It won't budge. Okay, that one don't budge. This gate is locked and padlock is in an excellent condition. Well, we're not going that way then. Unless we can find a key. Am I burning through a lot of oil? I am. Kitchen. Well, okay. Kitchens have sharp things, though. Getting every door wrong. You, close, please. It's a bit brighter in here. I can turn that off for the moment. Some more oil there, which I'm definitely having. I do not want to run out of oil, or matches, or light in general in this sh horrible shithole. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at the uh, glowing barrel of whatever in a minute. Just check it. What else we got going on down here? Some more matches. Thank you very much. What's this then? Some sort of acid. Fantastic. I touched the acid. We got a message. What's this? There is a barrel filled with acid in the kitchen. Okay. Yep, that's acid, all right. Uh, is that oil? No. <laughs> all right, where to next? A bit of rope. Do I need to be in here, or do I need to come back here to... Have I still got a beaker? No, I blew that up, didn't I? Okay, we're probably going to have to come back in here at some point to uh, get some acid. All right, let's read the note. 2nd of August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning that before I sound venture odd, further. Though? I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Okay, the voice acting went a little bit weird there. That Bremen sounded like they recorded that again afterwards, and the because of me wasn't all that enthralling. Oh, uh, no, come on. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. Uh, oh, shit. Um. Uh. Uh, just run. Just run. Just run. Just fucking run. Find somewhere to hide. There's light here. Oh man, I'm just running in circles away from this cunt. Ooh, shit. You have to carry on. I'd rather just get away, mate. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. Oh, was I not able to get away from him? Hey, 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 what? 
soon will be ready. Let there be enough time. What the fuck is going on? Is there a door? I want to close the door. There's oil left here. Okay, uh, that might have been scripted, but that was scary as fuck. Okay, am I in a cell now? I think I've been locked in, right? Okay. Okay. Escape? Fuck off! Dude! I have to carry on. What the hell? Alright, so am I going to wake up on the floor in there again? Fuck it. Try and go. Uh, keep running, right? I have to carry on. Padlock is in excellent condition. Well, I ain't going that way again. Um, I think I just came out of one of these. Was it this one? Oh, there's something in here, so close the door a sec. Oh, we got matches, thank you. And another note. 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. Oh, he's My a bit eccentric, surely. Exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. So... I turned up at the right time for all of this. I mean, I was invited here. Okay, let's top up the oil. I do not want to run out of fucking oil. Okay, that's where we were. It was horrible in there. Uh, fuck it, try this way. Oh, uh, he's about, what's this? Kitchen. Uh, did the kitchen. I'm going around in circles. There's some steps there. What's stomping about now? Is something stomping about after me? Yeah, I'll hang out in here for a sec. Uh, oil. Awesome. At least there's lots of fucking oil down here. And some matches under uh, this dude. Who did not have a good time. That's going to be me by the end of this fucking episode. Uh, what, what could I pick up there? The bed. Why can I pick up these beds? I don't need to. Is there anything under this guy? Behind this guy? Okay, let's uh... We know we have to carry on. I'm gonna leave these doors open so I at least get an idea of where I've been. Oh, there's a flashback in this one. Hey, anybody, help! <laughs> Christ, I don't believe this. What? I mean, why? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? Don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. Yeah, some people had a pretty fucking horrible time down here. Right. Came from that way. Let's head this way. Let's put you on. Just another cell. It's got a note in here. Let's close the door. And 
Anything else in here before I pick that up? The bucket. Is that the mandatory jail cell shit bucket? Yeah. Mandatory jail cell shit bucket. Everyone's gotta have one. 4th of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. No shit. It's not only a powerful item, but yeah. a dangerous one. Oh yeah, yeah, Simply yeah, yeah by totally. touching it, you invoke the powers within. And, and we if touched you are it. too weak to control it, it will devour you. I'm guessing I'm pretty weak. The shadow then. is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. Okay. Have I got I the orb? I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done. But at a price. That sounded like dumb, not done. Alright, let's uh, keep going. Oh, fucking hell. Do not come into the one with the corpse. Please do not come into the one with the corpse. You don't know where I am, do you? Oh yeah, of course you do. Of course you do. Of course you do. Alright, we're gonna have to run. Yeah, I see you buddy. I'm running. Not in there, not in there. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, run into the fucking dead end. Uh, oh, fuck me. I know, I'm trying. I'm really, really trying. Where am I now? That was the cell... Is this the cell with the note that I just read? Uh, maybe that was the one with the note. There's the corpse. I don't know where he came from. Probably this direction. Probably running right kitchen again. Right into him. Those doors are open. I've been that way. I want to get to those stairs somehow. How might one get to those stairs? Is this the padlock? What's in there? To cistern entrance. That's probably going to be... It is fortified with a metal lock and I got a message. There is a barrel filled... Uh, the gate leading out of this area is locked by a warm padlock. So maybe if I can find something to put the acid in, is that, no, find something to put the acid in, maybe I can burn through that lot, hey, you. me? Stop. Don't come any closer, I just want to leave. You can't go outside, it's too dangerous. I'm telling Gabriel. I doubt that very much. That sounded like me. Or, you know, Daniel, me. I went budge. So we're back at the one that went budge. You're the one with padlock in excellent condition. Hey, matches. I didn't see you before. Oh, uh, he's about again, isn't he? Run! At least he lumbers pretty fucking slowly. Um, did I miss something? In it? Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Where's that kitchen gone? Oh fuck, where's the kitchen gone? This way? Cell area free, that's different, maybe. I 
I'm gonna have a load in them real quick. Get a little bit high and maybe that'll help us deal with this. Is that where I came in? Let's have a look this way. That one went for Diva. Excellent condition padlock. If I come like full circle, you say kitchen, kitchen. I'm gonna get back up in this kitchen and see if I can find something to put the acid in. Or I might just hang out in here for a bit. Not too dark in here at least. Not very nice, but it's not too dark at least. No, I fell for that last time. Do not touch the fire. Anything I could use to collect the acid with? I didn't want to do that, I just wanted to drop that in. The bottleneck is too narrow for the flask to be filled without spilling the acid, but a glass container is an ideal vessel. Glass container would make an ideal vessel. Uh, glass container? This is the kitchen. This is the sort of place a glass container should be. Surely this is too narrow too, right? Come on, this is the sort of place I'd keep my glass containers. Glass container. Really, there's not a glass container in here. I'm going to have to run around in circles again out there looking for a glass container now. And I guess with a glass container I can pick up some acid, very carefully of course, and probably use that to burn a lock, burn the lock off. Or at least one of those padlocks. What happens if I uh, put one of these in? <laughs> okay. Can I? Oh, they're fixed. Okay, well, we know what we need to do. We need to find a glass container to collect some of this acid. So, I'm going to leave this episode here, and in the next one... Hey there, rat. Hey. Why doesn't it eat those? It wants to eat me, but not them. Anyway, in the next episode... We're going to find a glass container, collect some acid, and hopefully melt our way through a lock. Or throw it in the face of that thing out there. Until the next one, thank you for watching. Catch you later.